The Russian mining company is busy with exploration of sought-after chemicals in the south of Namibia. The company recently took six media houses to Kazakhstan to familiarize themselves with the in-situ leaching mining method. It is a trip that took two days over 10,000 kilometers and past the Persian Gulf. Namibian media houses were invited to witness firsthand exactly how the mining style proposed for Namibia is being executed in the mid-Asian country. The trip meant for providing information, however, saw some restraints imposed on journalists. Controlled by a heavy PR team, reporters were not allowed to make any form of recording, whether audio or visual, stipulations mining officials said were for security reasons. That left the media confined to visuals provided by the company's PR team. There are about 15 uranium mines in Kazakhstan's Sosak region, all set to use the in-situ leaching mining technique. Namibian reporters visited one of these, the Karatau mine. In-situ leaching, also known as in-situ recovering, all solution mining is a mining process used to recover minerals such as uranium through boreholes drilled into a deposit. It artificially dissolves minerals occurring naturally in a solid state. In the case of Namibia, the particular minerals sought are found below the fresh underground water system, causing worry among the farming community, local residents and some politicians. The question that begs answering is whether the proposed mining can coexist with the existing community. Are the chemicals used safe for the flora and fauna? According to Mikhail Zaika, the engineer in charge of environmental and radiation safety at the Karatau mining operation, prevention and protection of aquifers from contamination and from spreading contaminants can be achieved. The Uranium One Group currently has eight approved EPL licenses and will start operations once a mining license is issued by government. It promises development and active social responsibilities in the community where it intends to mine. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, from the Sosak region, Kazakhstan.